If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To correctly use QuickBooks Online to calculate sales taxes, you must first set up the required sales tax agencies and any custom sales tax rates you may need. You must then also accurately enter your customer's addresses and indicate if they are non-taxable. You must also accurately indicate the taxable status of your products and services, collectively called your items, in QuickBooks Online. To enter sales tax information for a customer, click the Sales or Invoicing link in the navigation bar. Then click the Customers tab at the top of the page that opens to the right. Alternatively, hover over the Sales or Invoicing link in the navigation bar, and then roll over and click the Customers link in the side menu that appears to also open the same page. To edit a customer's information, click the name of the customer to edit within this list to open the customer's details page. Then click the Edit button at the top of the page to open the customer information window. To enter the customer's billing and shipping addresses, which are used for automatic sales tax calculations, click the Address tab at the bottom of this window if needed. Then enter the customer's billing address and shipping address into the fields provided. If the shipping address is the same as the billing address, you can enter the billing address and then check the Same as Billing Address checkbox next to the shipping address label. If not, uncheck this checkbox and enter the shipping address into the fields provided. If you need to mark a customer as not taxable, then click the Tax Info tab. Then check the This Customer is Tax Exempt checkbox. Customers are considered taxable unless this checkbox is checked. Then select Why they are tax exempt from the Reason for Exemption dropdown. You can enter the details for their tax exemption into the Exemption Details field. Then click the Save button to save your changes. To mark a product or service as taxable or non-taxable, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then click the Products and Services link under the Lists heading in the drop-down menu to open the Products and Services list. Find the product to edit and then click its Edit link in the Action column for that product's row to open the Product Service Information pane at the right side of the window. In this pane, use the Sales Tax Category drop-down to select either Taxable, Standard Rate for Standard Taxable Items, Non-Taxable for Non-Taxable Items, or choose a special category if the item's taxable status is more specific. If you select the Choose a Special Category choice, then the pane changes to show sales tax categories for products and services grouped in collapsible and expandable groups by industry. You can click these industry categories to collapse and expand them to see their available options and or any collapsible and expandable subgroupings they contain. You can also click these subgroupings as needed to see their options. When you find the specific sales tax category option to assign to the item, click it to select it. Then click the Done button to return to the Product Service Information pane. To save any editing changes to your products and services, click the Save and Close button in the lower right corner of the Product Service Information pane to save your changes and close the pane. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.